Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to create and manage business processes using blueprints in Zoho Creator. All businesses follow a set of routine processes, and having those processes standardized in your business app ensures that stakeholders don't skip any steps, overlook information, repeat tasks unnecessarily, or abandon tasks before completion. Blueprint in Zoho Creator lets you design and automate business processes leading to better resource allocation and productivity. Next, let's take a look at the components of a blueprint, stages, and transitions. Every business process follows a series of steps in a particular order. These steps are the milestones in the process lifecycle that are used to measure progress towards completion. These steps become the stages in the blueprint process. Now let's explore stages using the example of an order processing system. These are several steps or milestones in an order processing system. Ordered, processed, shipped, delivered, and canceled. These milestones in the process become the stages in a blueprint. They can be configured in the blueprint builder. The next component are transitions. Transitions are the intermediate phases between stages. They can also be considered the actions that must be fulfilled to move from one stage to another. You can configure a transition owner, set criteria to display the transition options based on a condition, and associate actions to execute after a transition. In the order processing example, you can create a transition, such as picked by courier, to move the process from the processed to the shipped stage. Between shipped and delivered, there can be another transition called delivered to customer. The stage gets updated when the transition owner performs the action. This is called a regular transition. Along with regular transitions, there are two other types of transitions, namely common and parallel transitions. A transition that can be executed from any stage in a process is called a common transition. For example, in an order processing app, if an order needs to be canceled, it can be done soon after the order is placed, processed, or shipped. In this scenario, the transition canceled can be executed from multiple stages. That's how a common transition works. Next, let's talk about parallel transitions. We can configure parallel transitions if a process must fulfill multiple transitions to pass from one stage to another. Some business use cases need to complete multiple tasks to move on to the next stage. In the same example that we discussed earlier, picking, packing, quality check, quantity check, and labeling are the various actions that must be done in order to move from the ordered to the process stage. For parallel transitions, you can set relevant transition owners, warehouse executives for picking and packing, quality assistants to validate quality, quantity, and packing labels. You can also add actions to execute, such as triggering notification alerts to the delivery executive when an order moves from ordered to processed. Here are some business scenarios where you can use Blueprint to automate your business processes. Quote management, task management, library book lending, hospital management, converting leads to customers, order cycles, support request handling and escalation, recruitment, and deal follow-up. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. We hope this video helped you get a better understanding of Blueprints. Now you can start automating your business processes using Blueprint in Zoho Creator. Thanks for watching.